Well, welcome everybody to worship today. It's just really good to be with you and on this special day too. So happy Christmas. And I really um, just wish and pray and hope that God blessing is on you today, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, if you're surrounded by screaming and crawling children, or if you are by yourself, I just really want to um, pray that God will bless you today through our time together. Normally at the beginning of a Christmas Day service, I would be asking everybody whether anyone is wearing anything that they have been given this morning. So if that's you with your Christmas socks on or whatever else it is, whether you've tucked into the Christmas chocolates already or whether you've begun to read the Christmas book, I hope that you are enjoying your presence. And today we celebrate the gift of Jesus, don't we? God's son who came here to earth especially for us. Now you would expect our time today to include some good carols and some good singing and that's what we're going to do today and our first carol today is the well-known um, carol which is called O Come All Youth Faithful. We're going to sing this with the help of some Salvation Army musicians on our video so let's sing together. <laughs> a really good sing wasn't it? Now then today as I said earlier might be different for many of us. We might find ourselves being at home instead of being elsewhere with friends and family. We might find ourselves having a different day at home instead of going to our own church or the Salvation Army. Some of us will be um, just finding these days being quite challenging but you know, even though it's been a difficult year, we know that God is with us and God continues to be with us today. You know, here in Leek at the Salvation Army, we have really been blessed in these recent days. Our band has been able to go on the streets caroling and it's been so good to meet the people there. 
we've been able to go around to some older people's homes outside and also on the streets and play to some of the older members of our congregation. At the hall we've been providing hot lunches as a Meals on Wheels service to take round to older people who will need them and that again face to face human contact during the week. And we've been able to help through the generosity of many people to help with Christmas toys and Christmas presents for families who need them this year. So whether you have um, given um, us toys or money or your time, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been involved in the Salvation Army and Leek this year, helping us to make sure that everybody can have a good Christmas. We really couldn't have done it without you, to be honest. So thank you. So, so many things to think about today, aren't there? But we're going to bring right to, together at the beginning of our time together. We're going to bring all these things to God in prayer. So do join with me. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you and praise you today because you are a loving God. And Lord, we thank you for the gift of Jesus. Today, as we celebrate his birthday, we just want to say thank you. And Lord, just to remind ourselves of the great gift of Jesus to our lives, who came to be our saviour and our friend. Lord, I want to pray right now for those people who are hearing the sound of my voice, wherever they might be, whether it be near or far away. And I pray, Lord, that you would just bless everybody who is spending time watching this video today. I pray that your Holy Spirit truly will come to them and that they will know your peace and your joy and your love in their hearts. And Lord, as we spend time together today in your presence, I pray that your words will truly speak to us wherever we are. Bless us, we pray. Amen. Amen. So we're going to now be singing our next song together, which is Sea Amid the Winter Snow. It's a beautiful song. And while we're doing this, I'm going to be lighting our five Advent candles. So let's sing together.
was a lovely carol wasn't it and doesn't our advent wreath look beautiful today with all of the five candles lit up and the middle candle reminds us that today is truly Christmas day. Now normally on a Christmas day service we would be having the children up on the platform helping with the talk um, having some joy and some laughter. Obviously we can't do that just here right where I am but we thought we would play you something different today. Um, a number of Salvationists around the country have been um, putting a lot of time and effort into getting some musical items together for our, our Christmas Day celebrations. And today I wanted us to watch an arrangement of Deck the Halls and it's all sung by Seb Farrell. So if you're listening at home and you've got a bit of time on your hands and you fancy a bit of a challenge, well then, you might want to see and have a go at what Seb is doing. But let's listen to him now. Deck the hall with bells of holly, fa la 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 fa la la la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 fa la la la. Dawn we now our gay apparel, fa la 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 la. Oh, troll the ancient yuletide carol, fa la 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 fa la la. Decker, 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 fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Strike the harp and join the chorus, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Follow me in decker, 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 fa la la, fa la fa. Fast away the old year passes, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Hail the new ye lads and lasses, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Sing we joyous all together, fa la 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 la. Heedless of the wind and weather. amazing wasn't it and um, that brought us real joy and real blessing today. I've just got a couple of announcements to give to you. The first is that there won't be a meeting on this coming Sunday the 27th. We'll be having a well-earned rest and then on Sunday the 3rd of January uh, we're going to be joining in with Salvation Army people all around the country as we listen to a territorial meeting which is brought to us by our territorial leaders, Commissioners Anthony and Jill Cottrell. So we look forward to that as well. Now our Bible reading today is taken from the book of John and we're reading from chapter 1 verses 1 to 14 and I'm reading from the New Living Translation of the Bible. In the beginning the Word already existed. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him and nothing was created except through him. The Word gave life to everything that was created and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. John himself was not the light. He was simply a witness to tell about the light. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. 
He came into the very world he created, but the world didn't recognise him. He came to his own people and even they rejected him. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. They are reborn, not with a physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. So the word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. Amen. Amen. Well, so often when we consider the Christmas story, we focus our thoughts on the baby in a manger. Um, uh, um, Mary and Joseph and perhaps the stable, the shepherds, the kings, the wise men. And so we should because Christmas is Jesus' birthday after all. But I thought that today we would take a slightly different view on things. After all, this year has been very different. We had not expected to be in this situation at the beginning of the year. And to be honest with you, um, the outlook over these next few months doesn't seem to be very bright either. So today I thought we would use these verses from the Gospel of John, which look at the birth of Jesus as being part of God's big plan to bring light to the world. Now John talks a lot about Jesus being light. He calls Jesus the true light who gives light to everyone. Now that's a great picture, isn't it? And beside me, here are these five candles. They're actually making a real difference to the room. They're making everything seem a lot brighter. Light is a really hopeful thing, isn't it? Whether it's the bright light of a fire, a real fire burning in the hearth, whether it's a candle on a dinner table, perhaps, or even the bright warmth of the sun on our faces in the summertime. Light just seems to bring warmth and cheerfulness, doesn't it, even to the darkest of times. However, we are living in dark times and John is very realistic about the fact that often life just seems to be quite dark. He acknowledges the darkness that is around it. And so 2020 for many of us has not been such a good year. So many of us are struggling with the sorrow of pain and grief and loss and perhaps loneliness even today. We miss our family and our friends and our freedom, to be honest, the freedom to go and to do and to be without thinking about anything. And then that perhaps leads itself to living in fear and concern and worry as well. But John in his in his book says that the light of Jesus shines in the darkness and the darkness can never overcome it. Now, I was thinking of an illustration to give to you from this. And the, the example that sprang into my mind was one from when I was quite small. So when I was small at my house, one of the things my parents used to love to do was to hold card nights. And I remember these occasions, members of my family would come round and we would gather around the family, round the table with the crisps and snacks and all of that kind of stuff. We'd have grandparents and aunties and uncles and friends around and it would be a real good and funny evening. And I remember the thrill of being allowed to stay up and watch as they um, were playing and having a good time. And as I got older, I was allowed to join in. And one of the first games we used to play was trumps. I don't know if you've ever played the game of trumps. But basically, once you've got past the first round, or at least this is the version my family used to play anyway, once you've got past the first round, if you've got the most hands, then you are allowed to choose what suit is trumps for the next round. And um, then the dealing would ha um, happen and you'd have your, your hand of seven cards. You could choose the trumps. And you knew if you had the ace of a particular suit in your hand, if you chose that suit to be trumps, you knew you had one card that would surely and absolutely be everything else. 
and that was absolute certainty for me and that was pure joy because I knew that no matter what would happen if I chose that particular seat I would get around get to the next round because I would definitely win one hand of cards and I think that's a kind of similar example really to Jesus because just as uh, the the ace of a uh, seat which is trumps trumps everything else Jesus trumps everything else he is the light that shines in the darkness Jesus' light always overcomes the darkness and the darkness holds absolutely no power against the light of Jesus. Yes, there is darkness in this world and that is because we're in the middle times. We know that God is going to win and come in his glory and power, but not yet. That's why we celebrate Advent, isn't it? This waiting time. Not yet. We are in the waiting times. But Jesus will come and his light is shining. His light continues to shine and will put the darkness out. And you know, while Jesus' light continues to shine, it also lights the way forward for us. This is why we are celebrating today, because we um, not only celebrate the birthday of Jesus, but we celebrate that Jesus is the light of the world and that his light shines and it lights the way forward for us. Yes, we are living in dark times, but Jesus has won the battle and his light will overcome darkness. And we have hope because of that. We have joy in our lives. We look forward to that day when um, Jesus will reign. And we look forward to that day when um, hope and trust will win the day. Until then, we continue in faith and remember that Jesus truly is the light of the world. I found this poem from the Engage Worship website, which is entitled The Light Shines On, and I'm going to read it to you just now. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not understood it. Not comprehended not grasp the full meaning of the light of God brought close in his Son. The light shines on and the darkness struggles to know it, the darkness in me, the darkness in you. The light hounds us, chases us with its concern and laughter, nudges us like an interested puppy, butts up against us in the quiet, jostles us in a crowd. The light shines on, Though darkness makes itself known, the noise of darkness, the threat of darkness, the posturing presence of gloom. But that still small voice, that thin sight of silence, that often invisible presence goes on. God in the gaps, the light shines on. While we think about these things, um, we are going to be playing a new arrangement of a Salvation Army carol, which is entitled The Stable Door. And I hope that you will use these next few moments just to consider what it means to you for Jesus to be the light of your world. And how you can use that light to bring hope to yourself and to others. Let's listen now together.
Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for everything that you have done for us, for coming as a baby, for giving the gift of yourself to us. Lord, we can't just stand there and say, that's nice. We have to make a response. And as the song asks, what shall I give him? What can I provide to Jesus? And the answer, of course, is that we have to give him everything that we are, everything that we can be, all of our potential, our hopes and our dreams. Yes, and our fears and our worries, our anxieties, our concerns too. So Lord, we give all of ourselves to you today on your birthday. We thank you for your gift. And we pray, Lord, that you will walk with us through these times that we can always see your light shining in the darkness. We thank you that you are always with us, that you will never leave us. Amen. Amen. Well, our worship is drawing to an end, but we're going to finish now with another well-known carol, which is called Joy to the World. We've got a few Salvation Army players and some singers again, so do sing along with us now on our last song together. <laughs> wasn't it? I'm going to finish with a benediction in just a moment but before I do that I just want to introduce to you our last um, video after that which is called Shining Star. It's by a group called Fanfara. If you watch closely you'll see our own deputy bandmaster Paul Dickinson playing soprano but let's have a benediction together. By the tender mercy of our God, love has broken upon us. Light is given where once there was darkness, and hope where there was once only death. So we go into this season knowing that God will guide our feet in the way of peace. God bless you. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Thank you.